Ferrari seems to be on their back foot yet again, and after the Brazilian GP, the Italian team has put its driver in a very bad position yet again. The drivers have had their say on this matter, and the situation is not looking good for their future at all. But one of the biggest questions is, is whether or not Ferrari will be able to turn things around in 2024. And with no bigger technical regulations coming into the sport, the displeasure of the drivers will even be more vocal and effective. More changes will come to the team. So is there anything that Ferrari can do to stop the downward spiral they're in right now? And will that come with the consequence of technical staff being fired? Ferrari has started and will likely end the 2023 season on a bad note, with Leclerc suffering multiple DNFs and signs ruining his chances to finish on the podium due to a penalty in Australia as a result of a driver's mistake. But this is rarely the only dark mark in their season. For example, the race in Bahrain and the one in Brazil saw Leclerc not being able to finish the race, with the latter one seeing him being thrown away from his own hydraulics failure, and that's resulted in him voicing his dissatisfaction yet again. Science was also very disappointed with the pace that the SF23 presented in Brazil, and when talking about this matter, he didn't mince on any words, even though he finished ahead of both Mercedes drivers and was able to cut down the gap to the Silver Arrows to just 20 points. The smooth operator expected a lot more from his car. The only race winner, aside from Perez and Verstappen in 2023, went on to say, I just hope we bin this clutch as soon as we're back in Maranello. A bit of an eventful race, we had again a problem with the clutch in the two starts like yesterday in the sprint, we've been struggling with this part all weekend. Then the race. Honestly, I had a good first stint, but then yeah, simply the Aston Martins, the Red Bulls, the McLarens were a bit quicker than us. At least we managed to outrace Mercedes, but we probably missed an opportunity with Charles out of the race to carry even more points on Mercedes. But apart from the current situation in 2023, it seems like Ferrari is having a lot of issues trying to understand where their car is going to move in the upcoming year as well. Although they were the only team that could have breathed some fresh air into the monotonous competition in 2022 by winning the first two of the three venues with Leclerc and having a 1-2 victory in the opening round, times have changed drastically. Not only did they get overtaken by Mercedes and are now fighting for the P2 spot from the runner-up position, but it seems like McLaren has managed to consistently outperform them in the 2023 season, a trend that is very likely to continue in 2024 as well. And from what we've seen up until this point, apart from the obvious driver and strategy mistakes that have hindered the hopes of Ferrari performing well at any given point in the last two seasons, reliability issues have taken their toll on the car's performance as well. This is something that Carlos Sainz has opened up about, and when talking about this matter, he went on to say, I'm relatively concerned, but at the same time, it's the end of the season. I think it's always tough on parts, so many back-to-back -back Grand Prix. Clearly, there's teams having less issues than us, so it shows that we need to do better. But at the same time, we're pushing at the limit with the battle with Mercedes and you always expose yourself. Maybe other teams are running with a bit more margin. The issue with Ferrari is that when Fred Vasseur was brought in to lead the team into new adventures in 2023, not a single fan expected that the team would need a full rebuild. After all, they did finish second in the Constructors' Championship, and the majority of their woes lied in the reliability issues as well as the human factor in the strategy and pit crew, with poor pit stops and bad calls resulting in Ferrari being the laughing stock of the sport. But on the other hand, they continued with the same pattern of behaviour, even when Mattia Binotto was outside of the big picture, proving that the issue was much deeper than what many would have thought from the races themselves. Elaborating on this matter even further, Ralph Schumacher, a former F1 driver, believes that Vasseur needs more time in order to fix all of the issues that are currently present in the team, which spells bad news for their drivers as well. He went on to say, The Mercedes weakness was actually the chance for Ferrari in the fight for second place in the Constructors' Championship. But Ferrari didn't have a good weekend either. Ferrari has always been a bit of a problem child. Fred Vasseur can't turn the whole place inside out within six or seven months. This also took a few years for Michael, Ross Braun and John Tott. At Ferrari, you need patience. The good news for the team is that the car for 2024 is reportedly vastly improved compared to where it is right now. And one of the biggest issues from 2023, which is the tyres being eaten way too quickly compared to their rivals, is going to be addressed as well. 
According to the renowned Italian medium, F1ingenerale.com, the Project 676, as Ferrari called it, is even ahead of its schedule for the upcoming season. And when elaborating on this matter, the newspaper praised the team for kicking things up a notch and finally understanding what is essentially wrong with the car. This, however, has been promised from Ferrari time after time, and it seems like we've been listening to the same storyline year after year, when in reality, Ferrari hasn't been as competitive as they would have liked it to be ever since 2007. There have been a few flashes in 2010 and 2012 with Alonso, and during the Vettel era as well, but nothing has come as close as the last champion from Ferrari, Kimi Raikkonen. And the drivers understand that the situation is not quite well with the team right now. So when talking about this matter, Fred Vasseur amplified the impact of the drivers on how the car is going to be built and improved. As the Frenchman elaborated, We have to avoid coming to conclusions too quickly. Before the break in Spa, we were also in good shape. Charles started from pole position, qualified on the first row and did a good race. As it's a matter of hundreds of seconds, sometimes you do a small step and you have the feeling that everything has changed but it's not exactly the reality. But it's a sport and in the end we can accept that one is doing a better job than the other from weekend to weekend. I think that we have a positive competition and this is also helping us to improve. Well, apart from the car not delivering the right results, Ferrari will also have a lot to handle on their hands, with both of its drivers being of a highly competitive nature. For example, they have Charles Leclerc in 7th place, following signs by 22 points, even though he has one more podium finish than his colleague. But there is one theory that we haven't gone deeper into in this video, and that's the feedback of the drivers and whether or not it's enough for its engineers to actually implement the right changes on the car. According to Ralph Schumacher, the issue at Ferrari cannot be traced to the staff or the technical principle alone, as both of the drivers have been blamed by the German ex-driver for not giving enough feedback to the engineers regarding how their car is behaving and what they want to see changed. Elaborating on this matter on further notice earlier this year, Schumacher went on to say, Ferrari once again fell short of expectations. I see the biggest problem with the drivers. For me, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz are not consistent enough. Leclerc himself said that against the advice of his engineer, he mistuned the car. With his mistakes, he shows that he either doesn't have the maturity yet, or maybe at the end of the day, he's not consistently good to drive a world championship for Ferrari. At the moment, this is not the case. To be honest, the Ferrari team is currently doing a better job than both drivers. Keep in mind that this was said earlier in May, and nothing much changed from that perspective. So, whether or not Ferrari will be able to fine-tune things for 2024 and understand where the issues fundamentally lie, nothing much will change in the foreseeable future as well. So, do you think that these issues will effectively put Ferrari in a rebuild process? Let us know in the comments down below.